This is a film about the redeeming and restorative power of Jesus Christ. This is a film about what God can do with a life of addiction, how he can transform it. Jesus Christ changed my life. I am not the man I used to be. I'm, I'm not the man I want to be, but thank God I'm not the man I was. 2 Corinthians 5.17 talks about old things being passed away. I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm not criticizing other people's methods of recovery. I'm not criticizing 12-step or any method that people use. There are many different paths to recovery. It's a journey that's different for everyone. Maybe this film will be something that can turn the tide, help someone who hasn't been able to find their recovery, find it through Jesus Christ. And not only find recovery, but find a new life and most importantly, eternal salvation. And I'm asking you to help me show that through the many stories of the people that we've met on this journey through recovery. This is called Higher Power, and we need your help. For me, for me, it was Jesus Christ. It was, it was the power of God. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. The Bible tells us that He makes us a new creation, a new creature. I wanted to change for a long time, I just didn't know how, you know, but today I could sit here honestly and say that uh, He is the way. That you were able to do all things through Christ in order to overcome your addiction. We can't do it without Him. I had a revelation that God exists, that He loves me, and I had no doubt that God was Jesus Christ. And from that moment on, I knew that there was hope, that there was some way I would be able to get clean, that I would be able to change my life. I didn't know how, but I knew from that moment that there would be a way. This is where I got drunk and high in this town. And this is where I found Jesus in this town. Jesus is the cure. It, he is the, the one and only that I have seen that has taken a life of, of someone that is destroying other people's lives through their addiction to where you see them standing in church praising the Lord and raising their family the way a man should raise a family. He's the only way. You know, I wish I could tell you that I grew up in a terrible place or that I had terrible parents. I wish I could tell you I went to a lousy school in a terrible district. I wish I could tell you that I was dealt a bad hand, but I wasn't. I was dealt a pretty good hand. I grew up in Lake Mohawk, Sparta, New Jersey. You'd be hard pressed to find a better place to grow up. And I had two amazing parents, you know? I had a great school district. Phenomenal people and role models in my life. And somewhere along the way, I experimented with drugs. And drugs turned me into a monster. And drugs destroyed my life. Drugs affected my family, led to my gang involvement, caused the death of my mother, almost cost my five-year-old daughter and my wife their lives, and led to uh, me spending over 10 years of my life in prison. Two years in a halfway house, three years on parole. But I'm not who I was. And I owe that to Jesus Christ. Jesus. You're the real thing.